The main feature of Kerbal Space Program's new expansion, Making History, is the Mission Builder. This is an exciting new feature that puts the process of creating and editing missions in your hands. In this video, we'll detail how you can use the tools in the Mission Builder to create all sorts of exciting and inventive missions. Ok, here's our mission. The player needs to build a vessel and launch it from a mobile launch pad on the MUN. They then need to head to EVE and rescue a stranded Valentina who is orbiting the planet. During the flight, a random part will fail and the player will need to repair it while spacewalking. The player then needs to rescue Valentina and return safely to Kerbin. Here in the middle of the screen is the mission canvas. On the right is the setting action pane and graphic action pane. The sidebar holding all the nodes is found on the left hand side of the screen. There is a wide selection of nodes available for you to choose from. These are grouped into different categories depending on their function and purpose. By default, a new mission includes a start node and a spawn vessel node. The start node defines the starting parameters for our mission. Each node has different settings. Here we can adjust the difficulty and the mission start time amongst other things. Let's click on the show mission briefing checkbox and select the instructor avatar. This will make the briefing visible at the beginning of the mission. Here you can see that the spawn vessel node is docked to the start node. Having the spawn vessel node docked to the start node means the vessel is created and placed the moment the mission starts. Let's leave the player built option selected. We can also define the starting situation of the vessel, whether it will be landed, in orbit or at a launch site, as well as the build facility. Let's select the launch site and name our vessel. Now let's drag a spawn launch site node to the canvas and dock it under the spawn vessel node. This node allows us to create custom launch pads. Let's name our site and select MUN as our planet body. Let's move to the gap and select a location for the mobile launch pad. You can also set the location by defining the desired latitude and longitude. Let's return to the spawn vessel node settings and select our custom launch site. Now the players will have their vessel launched from our mobile launch pad. The second part of our mission requires the player to head towards EVE, so let's go ahead and do that. Firstly, go to the sidebar and drag the SOI Reach node to the canvas, then connect it to the Start node. Select EVE as the planet body, then click on the Objective node checkbox. This will flag the node as an objective for the mission app. Let's set up the part failure. Drag a part failure node out and connect it to the previous node. This will trigger a part failure event after reaching EVE. Now select the vessel for this to be applied to and the part to be failed. Next we want the player to perform an EVA and repair the part that failed. To do this we'll drag a Kerbal EVA node onto the canvas and connect it to the last node. Be sure to update the parameters for the node in the settings. Next we'll drag a display message node to the canvas, connect it to the last node and write a message letting the player know that there has been a failure that needs to be repaired. Let's place our stranded Valentina around EVE's orbit. Drag and dock a spawn Kerbal node to the start node. Select Crew as the Kerbal type. Next select Valentina. Set Orbit as the location option and EVE as the planet body. Don't forget to set her as stranded too. Now we have to set the objective of rescuing her. Let's drag a Kerbal Rescue node out and connect it to the Display Message node to continue with our narrative. Select Crew as Kerbal Type and Valentina Kerman as the Kerbal to be rescued. She'll have to board the vessel to be rescued, so click on that checkbox. Make sure that this is an objective node as well. Our Kerbals now need to return home and land safely. To do this, drag a GoTo node onto the canvas and connect it to the last node. Be sure to mark it as an objective node and set Kerbin as the planet body. Next set the coordinates manually or click in the gap on the desired landing location. Don't forget to set the vessel. To test if the player landed safely on Kerbin, drag a landed vessel node and connect it to the previous node. Select the objective node option and tick the end node checkbox to mark this as the end of our mission. Let's also include some mission end text that will be shown for a successful completion. Finally, link to the correct vessel, set Celestial Body as the location type and Kerbin as the planet body. Let's now run a mission validation. Doing this checks the structure of a mission and looks for issues that may prevent the mission from working correctly. 
A validation check also provides feedback on issues and highlights the nodes on the canvas that may need attention. Save your mission and don't forget to include a mission briefing. Fantastic, that's it. You're now prepared to design missions in Kerbal Space Program's expansion, Making History. Next time, we'll show you how to export, share and play other people's missions.